Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's dive into the turbulent political landscape of Papua New Guinea. First up we have Pope Francis making headlines with his recent visit to Papua New Guinea. The Pope urged the nation's leaders to ensure that the country's rich resources benefit all citizens, not just a privileged few. Despite Papua New Guinea's wealth in gold, copper and natural gas, a significant portion of the population still lives in poverty. Pope Francis emphasized the need to prioritize local needs in the distribution of resources and employment opportunities. He also called for an end to the tribal violence that has displaced thousands and resulted in numerous deaths. Interestingly, the Pope pointed out that modern issues like unemployment and the rising cost of living are fueling this violence rather than ancient customs. This message is a stark reminder that Papua New Guinea, despite its natural riches, faces major challenges in ensuring equitable wealth distribution and addressing the root causes of internal conflict. Now let's shift our focus to Bougainville. Nearly five years after Bougainville's overwhelming vote for independence from Papua New Guinea, the political process is still stalled causing growing frustration among Bougainvillians. In the 2019 referendum, over 97% of voters chose independence, but the PNG parliament has yet to ratify the result. The main issue? Disagreements over the ratification process, whether a simple or two-thirds majority is required, have led to a political deadlock. Bougainville's President Ishmael Torawama and local leaders are increasingly dissatisfied with the lack of progress, while PNG Prime Minister James Marape stresses the importance of national sovereignty. Adding to the complexity is the controversial Panguna Mine central to past conflicts. Legal challenges and environmental concerns are hindering Bougainville's efforts towards economic independence. Experts warn that if PNG continues to deny Bougainville's independence the autonomous region might consider a unilateral declaration. The appointment of Sir Jerry Matapare, former New Zealand Governor General as a mediator, offers a glimmer of hope for resolving this impasse. So, there you have it folks. Papua New Guinea is grappling with significant political and social challenges, from equitable resource distribution to the ongoing struggle for Bougainville's independence. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses of global political issues. Stay informed, and see you next time.